Hello YouTube! Simon from the Apotheca Cycling Channel. I'm happy to see you again on this gorgeous sunny day. Um, almost spring here in Quebec. Um, today I'm going to show you a video about stuff we did to uh, clear around the camp at the property last summer. Um, right now I'm on spring break. Um, it's early March now, uh, it's spring break, students are on, uh, on holiday, they can go skiing, snowshoeing, uh, playing hockey outside, skating, and I'm relaxing, <laughs> I was really tired. So now, uh, right now I'm going to my parents, I'm going to have dinner with them, lunch with them, sorry, and then after that I'm going to the property and I'm going to, I don't know. Shovel some snow and have a bonfire and just relax outside during that gorgeous sunny day, winter day. And yeah, so the video I'm going to show you today um, might not be the most interesting of the series because uh, it's only clearing land around the camp. But uh, I told you guys when I started this series. I would show you everything we do uh, in order to get ready for the house, building the house. Uh, we're not there yet. We're still uh, planning and getting ready to uh, see what we're going to do with the house. Uh, as I told you before in other videos, uh, lately it's really hard to find workers, uh, construction materials, architects, all kind of stuff. There's so many people trying to buy houses or build houses. Um, because of the pandemic, most people started working from home, and in our region there's uh, high-speed internet, so people can work from home. So they move from the the big city to the countryside, and lots of people like me bought land, and now it's super hard to build. So it's not going to be for uh, now. <laughs> it's going to come, but it's not going to be for now. But today. I'm going to show you a video from the, from last summer when we cleared a path, a trail around the property on a part that was hard to access because we couldn't see where the property ended. The surveyors had left some uh, spikes in the ground, but it was in the brush and bush and all kinds of stuff. It was really hard to find. So when we found them, we made that little trail around the, the, the property so we could know where, the, where it ended. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Uh, also, around the camp we cleared because it was super dense, as you can see right now in this clip. Hey, Smoke! Hey! How are you? And we decided to clear around the camp. And right now, with snow, with uh, well, with leaves uh, fallen from the tree, from the trees because of the because winter came, and with the snow, it's super open. It's nice to see uh, clearly the, the land. But then, when summer comes next summer, it's gonna grow again. So we're gonna try to maintain that part of the land uh, clean, and uh, maybe even. I still have, like I said in the last video, I still have a few projects I want to do on the property, even though we, we might not build the house right away. So yeah, that's the video for today. So I, I hope you enjoy and I'll see you at the end. Ciao. As I said in uh, previous videos, this is a brand new chainsaw I bought last summer and this is the uh, very first time uh, I used it. I turned it on and I used it to cut that dead tree. Uh, now it's, it's banged up a bit because we used it a lot uh, over the summer, but that was the very first time I used it.
Here my wife is telling me she just found a pipe uh, stuck in the ground and my father thinks it might be an old, old uh, surveyor's marker but uh, it was uh, impossible for now to remove so we just left it there and painted orange. My father hasn't come to the land since we uh, cleared this part around the, what we call the camp. So I'm explaining him to him uh, why we chose that spot because it was already pretty much uh, open. And maybe one or two trees, uh, small trees over there, but uh, everything was open. So we just uh, cut the brush and we had the space already to use. Here behind me, uh, we off we did off camera. Uh, we started the trail, 
uh, to connect with, with the existing trail. Um, and here, me and my wife were picking up old, uh, I mean, dead branches. And I started burning them, but there was so much stuff, we ended up making piles and piles of them instead. Here, my wife and I are getting finally to the end of the property. You see on the left side that uh, little flag coming out of the ground. Uh, that's where the um, surveyor marker is. And uh, that's the end of the property. And uh, so our trail finally gets to the end and then gonna turn right towards the, the river. I decided here to use the uh, small and old chainsaw because uh, if you, as you can see this log is in the ground and I didn't want to scrap uh, my uh, my brand new blade on my brand new, chain, brand new chainsaw so I used the old one and it was very very dull so I had to go back and sharpen it and then I came back and uh, finished cutting that log.
as you can see right in front of my father here there's a pile of old trees I don't know how it came uh, it came to be uh, when we thought bought the land it was already there uh, we started uh, cleaning it but then uh, fall came and then winter was coming so we wanted to clear the trails uh, properly before uh, the before winter came so we left it there and next summer we're gonna have to finish uh, chop it down and uh, maybe spread it to make compost out of that uh, rotten wood enough. Okay couple of days of work in um, we managed to clear the trails the paths that were already on the land um, but there was a part of the land that was not accessible it was full of dead trees and branches and stuff so I don't remember when a couple of days ago we don't come here every day but couple of days a week so maybe two weeks ago we came there were three dead trees on the way here you saw this on the video already um, and we found that the orange thing here is a surveyor's mark so this is the end the end of the of the property according to the street so beside, behind that, it's the, the city's land. We still have to, we still have to uh, take care of that land. It's our, for our own usage. But if the city, for X, Y, Z reason, needs it to make the street bigger or something, uh, they can come. It's their land. But on the other side is our land. So what we did, we found the other end of the of the property the other surveyor mark it's all the way 
down there behind these trees um, we'll walk there earlier uh, later so we cleared a path to get there you saw we cleared also a path for the fire pit like a little uh, rest area uh, for us so have lunch uh, take advantage of the campfire and stuff like that uh, you saw we built some benches too out of uh, logs so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna walk the, the other half of the property where the trail, we, well, where we made the trail. So uh, yeah, come with me. As you can see, there are a couple of trees with uh, orange X's. These are completely dead trees that uh, we got the permit from the city last week to cut. Um, there were some 7,500, 100 dead trees on the property that we got the license, the permit to cut. Made a new trail from the camp through my son, hello. <laughs> through the street so we are closer when we uh, get our tools out instead of walking I don't know some hundred feet maybe 45 50 feet between the car and the uh, the road so and the camp and the camp uh, yeah the camp where we burn wood and take lunch and stuff like that because like you can see here there's still wood uh, that we didn't cut outside of the trail and on the trail, there were large logs that was were fell uh, years ago, uh, rotting on the ground. So we just cut them, put them on a pile, and later we're gonna find some uh, dips and holes on the, on the property to put them in and make uh, what you call it again, um, compost. They're gonna rot. They're gonna compost, and they're gonna fill the the, the dips and holes on, on the property so we're getting here to the end at the corner this is the other surveyors marking right here this is the corner so we came back we came down from here and we're gonna go down this way following the rope that we installed a couple of weeks back when we bought this is literally the uh, limit to the neighbors so we just cut what was on our property what's in on theirs we didn't touch and yeah let's keep going more dead trees oh chipmunk uh -huh. as you can see here there's some rot wood uh, composted wood that's what we're gonna use to fill the dips and, and holes on the ground on the property. So let's go down towards the river. This big tree here is dead didn't have a, a top a canopy anymore and we're at the riverside this is the end of the property and this little island in the river here um, is the government's property it's not will never be sold because it's too small to build it's about I don't know 10 meters wide uh, deep by 40 meters long so that's way too small to build something here with, uh, according to the rules
last time we were here, we cut down, cut down a couple of trees because um, they were dead and some of our were completely rotten. If you look at this here, completely eaten by rot. Uh, we cut them in uh, pieces, laid them on the ground so they decompose and make compost and give back life to the land. So guys, thanks for watching my video. Uh, as I said earlier, it might not be the, the most interesting in the series, but I needed to show you guys what we did. I wanted to show you guys what we did. Um, Whoa, bumpy. So yes, thanks for uh, coming. Thanks for watching my video. I'm really, really uh, excited for you guys to see what we're doing. And feel free to leave me a comment, subscribe, like, helps the channel to progress. And I'll see you in the next video in a, I don't know, a couple of weeks. Ciao, guys.